Hi, so in this video we'll be discussing the rule of 70. So this is quite a useful rule when we're thinking about objects that have a constant growth rate and so if we're looking at the long run growth of something we can use the rule of 70 to tell us how how much the actual variable will actually grow in in the actual value of the variable not just its growth rate its actual value so the rule of 70 says that a variable with constant growth rate of g percent note that we're talking about percentages here this will double in 70 over g years so this constant growth rate g percent is obviously an annual growth rate so this rule says say if we if a variable is growing 2% every year, then it's going to double after 70 over 2, or it's going to double after 35 years, which seems quite surprising potentially that something growing at a relatively low rate of 2% every year is only going to take 35 years for that to double. And when we think about, say, GDP of a whole economy, and we think of them growing at around 2% in developed economies, that means that GDP is going to double every 35 years, which is potentially quite surprising. I think it was when I first learned about the rule of 70. Now I'm going to show how mathematically we derive the rule of 70, and just to prove that it is actually the case. So what we can use is this sort of growth rate rule that we should know and we should know from, say, doing things like compound interest, etc. And we'll know that the value of variable here, we're using y, so for output, at time t, so we've subscripted by t, is equal to the value of this variable at time 0, multiplied by its growth rate, or 1 plus the growth rate raised to the power of t. And notice that this 1 plus g here is is showing that this g is no longer in percentage terms as I said at the start so this g for 2% would be 0.02 so if we don't know where this relationship comes from we we should and we should know that say y1 is equal to just 1 plus g multiplied by y0 and as we as we go up to and go up to time t we're just multiplying by the growth rate year on year and what we can do is divide this y0 term across to the left hand side to get that yt over y0 is equal to 1 plus g to the power of t. And what I've done here is set this equal to 2 because what we're looking to do is find the time when the variable at time t is, is double y0. So we have the yt over y0 is equal to 2, or the yt is 2 lots of our y0. So that, that's equal to 2 because that's when our variable is doubling. So we've got this expression here, and what we can do in the next line is just take logarithms of both sides of the equation. So we take the log, and the, it's the natural log, so we pull down this t, which is the power in the equation, and we get that t natural log of 1 plus g is equal to the natural log of 2 on the right hand side. And we can just rearrange to get that t is equal to the natural log of 2 over the natural log of 1 plus g. And now we're going to use an approximation. So this isn't actually an exact relationship, it's not going to be exactly 70 over g, but it's very close. And if we run some some new numbers and did some numerical examples we'd see that it pretty much does hold exactly when we have small values of g. So the first approximation is noting that the natural log of 1 plus g is roughly equal to g for small g's. So this is an approximation that's used quite a lot in mathematics so we're going to use this one and we see that we have 1 plus g in the denominator here and we can just substitute that in for g for small values of g and because we're thinking about growth rates, we will tend to think of things like 2% or 1% every year. So g will be sufficiently small for this approximation to hold true. And in the numerator, we know that the natural log of 2 is equal to some very long lots of decimal places, equal to 0.693 and so on. 
and we'll say that this is roughly equal to 0.7 so that we get a nice round number in the numerator. And um, when we substitute in these approximations in the denominator and in the numerator, we will see that t is now roughly equal to 0.7 over g. And this t here is going to be the time at which our our variable doubles in value as we've as we've assumed up here that we've we've set this equal to two. So this is when it would double. If we if we wanted to know when it would triple in value and quadruple, we would we would put a three or a four here. But okay, the t the t we're looking for here is going to be when these values double. And so by just multiplying top and bottom by a hundred we're going to see that our t is roughly equal to 70 over 100 multiplied by g. And so this is our rule of 70, that the time at which something doubles is going to be equal to 70 over g. This is, this is what I wrote down at the start. Notice that the, this g that we used here was, say, like 0 0.02, whereas this g we're looking at 2%. Is the, that's equivalent. If we, if we were to multiply 0 0.02 by 100, this would be 2%. We prefer to work in percentages because, well, it's nicer to work with and it looks nicer as a result. So the, the time it takes for something to double is roughly 70 over the growth rate, assuming this growth rate is constant. So that is the rule of 70. If this was at all useful, please leave a like. Make sure to check out the playlist for future videos on long run growth and to subscribe for plenty more videos.